Welcome to the Video Games Pickup video for April 2024 and guys, it's crazy because for the month of April, I have one lone game. Now I know there's months where I'm kind of slacking, I don't get a lot of games, but one? That, that really never happens. It's usually at least two or three, but there's a good reason for that because for the month of April, well, my life's been busy. And not busy in the sense of game-wise, right? But busy in the sense of just like things going on. I was in Philadelphia for a little bit this month, uh, just hanging out for work. Um, I know hanging out for work doesn't really, you know, sound all that great, but kind of like just, I was there for like a full week. I uh, got to kind of hang out at night for one of the days. And I really didn't have a lot of time to pick up games this month. I really didn't even beat a lot of games this month. I played a few gave up on a few because they just really weren't doing it for me, right? And I think I'm at that point where games I'm not going to spend time on if within the first five hours or four hours, or maybe not even the first hour, if they're not really captivating me and catching my attention. And I feel like with the way my backlog is, I have the, uh, the ability to do that. So I don't feel like I'm wasting my time. So you might be wondering, what is the lone game for April that I picked up this month? Well, it's the Sega Saturn game. It did cost a pretty penny, and it's a game that I had been told to play for a while. It had a a, a prequel, well not a prequel, it, it is the sequel to a game that came out on the Sega Genesis that it is highly regarded as well. I'm going to give you guys a second to think of it. Leave your... Uh, your thought of what it is down in the comment section below. And pause the video if you haven't written anything yet. But in 3, 2, 1, that game is Legend of the Oasis. Or Legend of Oasis. I added the the. But this game is a, it looks like over the top, a, a overhead is what I meant. 2D, almost like Zelda kind of game. Um, I've been told to play this game for a while. And the original game, Beyond Oasis, on the Sega Genesis, is very highly regarded. Now, I had totally forgot this game ever came out, right? And then, I was just kind of browsing eBay one day. And it popped up, and it was a decent price. Excuse my allergies. Um, now, I say a decent price, right? Even though it did cost a pretty penny, it wasn't as high as I had thought it was going to be. So... You know, lo and behold, let me try to bid. And I ended up winning it. So I've never played Legend of the Oasis. I've also never played Beyond Oasis. So, you know, there's that for me. I am excited to eventually, one day down the line, probably five years from now, with the way my uh, backlog's going, play this game. Because it does look like it's kind of fun. It does look like a style of a game I would enjoy. <laughs> So that's my one game pickup video for the month of April 2024. But I know you guys are probably wondering, what games did I give up on this month that I really haven't been playing, right? And uh, if I can get through this without my allergies killing me, we'll get into that. But I gave up on playing Bug 2 for the Sega Saturn. I played a little bit of it, and I realized that game just wasn't for me, right? I gave up on playing Bravely Default 2. I got like 20 hours into that game, and then it just really... I wasn't dealing the, with the combat. I tried playing uh, Deathloop for the PlayStation 5. And I might go back to that game eventually, but it, at the moment it just really wasn't hitting the spot. And then uh, Chris Tales for the PlayStation 5. I was looking for an RPG to play. I gave this game a couple hours. And I don't really know if it was the art style that wasn't doing it for me, or if it was something just else about the game uh, that just really wasn't hitting the spot but one thing I've been thinking of doing recently is actually going back and for the first time in years building a PC building my own PC customizing it because I know it might end up being cheaper than just buying a pre-built one uh, but I've been trying to look at parts right now trying to figure out what might be uh, the best option of you know price to performance things like that I'm big with storage so I've been looking at SSDs but that might be a project for the immediate future that I document and, you know, kind of try to show off of the building of the PC. So if you guys are interested in that, leave, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you're um, 
able to recommend any specific parts that are good for performance, good for price, that, you know, maybe are a little different than the most high-end things, but still great in terms of price performance, leave that thought down in the comment section below, guys. As always, I'm going to leave you there for now because, as you can tell, my allergies are really starting to catch up with me, um, and I definitely need to go below my nose. Uh, but, yeah, the month of April, Legend of the Oasis, or Legend of Oasis, for the Sega Saturn, I will maybe catch you next month, guys. Let's see what I pick up. And until then, see ya. Bye.